all right so everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce bytes and in this short sweet tutorial we'll try to understand how do you configure path in salesforce right now for those of you who do not know what path is let's quickly try to go into opportunities and let's open any random opportunity and what you see right here right this this the sequence of status uh, flowing through and you can make changes and you can change the status of your opportunity so this what field is this this field right here the stage field right the same value value proposition is the current value i can and you can move forward and behind using the path component right so if you want to go ahead and you, you want to mark it as current stage you can move forward using the path component so that is what the path component is and how do you enable and how do you configure that that's what we'll learn in this particular video cool so let's go ahead and try to see how this component is, is set up so this is dropped as a lightning component component on the record page so what i'll do is i'll just quickly show you if i edit page i say leave and i come to the lightning app builder for this record page the opportunity record page and i click on this this section right here right sorry this section right here so this says this is a path component and if i quickly search this here on my right panel sorry left panel i see that there's a path component i can very well drag and drop it and see the same component pops up the one similar to this one right so this is our path component and this kind of uses the stage variable and here the format can be there are two options either you want to go linear linear kind of means you know uh, sequentially from one stage to another but if you want to pop up and jump into any any status that you want you can go for a non-linear option also you won't get the check sign coming up on the previous stages cool and if you don't want the user to you know uh, use the button and just click and get it done so you can just say hide path button and that button will go away cool but if you want to set up the path in 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 uh, the in totality how do you do that so you have to click on the setup path button right another way to do it is by using by going to the setup page and you can do the same thing let's click on the setup path button what will this do this will take us to the path settings directly you see on the setup if i go to path settings the same thing will open up this thing right here let's click on this and basically the same thing will open up so what's the first thing that we need to do the first thing is we need to enable it right and once we enable it i'll just say remember user paths preferences the current ones and now i can go ahead and create a new path right so i can say new path and my setting or you know my path configurator will open up so th these are the primary things there are three sections that i have to take care of so the first one is path name so i'll call it let's say i'll call it uh, opportunity path name or let's say lead lead object right so we have something on lead so lead path all right this would be the api name that would automatically come up and let's see if i have the lead object yes i do have it here i'll choose the lead object and here there's record type also selection available but we don't have any record type so we are good and then this is the important part you get to choose the pick list value that you want to show on your screen see essentially what you do is you kind of uh, select values using a pick list right from a drop down and that's where your path component helps you visualize it in a better way and also lets you move your uh, pick list values from one point to another using this path component so what this option does is it tells you what pick list value do you want to choose that you want to put on the screen as the path so for the lead object we have something that's called lead status right so we'll use this field i'll say next and now here if you notice as soon as i selected the lead status i got these options and these are the values from the lead status and if i notice these are all the four options cool and let's quickly go to a lead record so that you are familiar with the values and you see what field am i talking about so if i go to leads and let's say i go ahead and say all open leads leads so i go to jeff glimpse and here i already have a path because it's a standard object but if i go to details i'll see that this is the lead status field right this field right here so it has these four values the same four values we are getting here so here what you can do along with path is with a specific value selected you can also add or update fields right that that's an amazing option to have through the path component you don't have to do any kind of dependent uh, workflow up field updates and also alongside that you can also add a text that you can show to the end user right so let's say when it is working contacted i just want to say great you just need to push a bit harder just need to push the client a bit harder to win this deal right I, I can just put this message on the working contacted section right and whenever the record is working contacted let's say i want to add or update fields so i can just bring in the annual revenue and maybe the clean status cool and i'll say save all right and in case of the closed converted i just want to show the annual revenue 
let me see what do I have down below let's see if I have something that would make more sense no I don't see anything else apart from the revenue because revenue matters everywhere so I'll just say save cool so this is what I want to configure and once I'm done with my configuration for all the fields see for working contacted two fields here and the guidance message for close converted one field and all normal for the other two options cool I'll say next and I can now activate my path cool and to activate my path what I can do is I can just click on this green icon and this checks it and it says that you know the whenever I activate my path the key fields and the guidance will appear in the Kanban for the same object record type and pick list okay so if you don't want to save it you can save it and make it activated uh, activate it later but if you want to save it and activate it you can just click on this icon right here this one fancy thing that that Salesforce has, you know, Salesforce is all about these small details. Uh, if you want to also enable celebrations, now what are celebrations? Let's say you have actually closed a big deal and you want to show some kind of confetti appearing on the screen and we'll see how it looks. So you can do that by, you know, celebrating the success and, you know, ensuring that you enable this particular confetti. And when do you want to have that? Whenever you are closed converted. Basically, that means you kind of won the deal, right? You don't want to celebrate if you have not converted the deal, right? So you just want to put it into use whenever you are close converted right so this whenever this when would the celebration happen it would only happen when the picklist value goes to closed converted right and what's the celebration fre frequency do you want to keep like do you want to always have the celebration whenever it is uh, close converted rarely sometimes so I, i'll say always cool and now we can say finish once we are done with all of these settings my path component is ready that i can put on my screen and i can put it for my lead object right what i'll do is i'll go to my lead object and here i'll say edit page so now i can drop my path component so here i'll say path and let's try to bring this here cool and if i click on this I'll say see the lead path is automatically previewed because that's the one right and what do I want I want the linear one that's fine and the path update button also is something that I want to keep and the lead path is what I want okay I clicked on it so sorry so let's go back and we are good with it we can just remove this particular component okay I'll just say remove I'll just move my component here and this is basically nothing but the lead path component all right once I'm good with it I'll say save and I'll activate it. So if you have not, uh, if you if you're not familiar with uh, record pages and how to activate or how to assign record pages, I have another video on that, and you can probably take a look at it, right? So take a look at it, and you'll understand what of what what all of this is all about, and you'll be able to assign record pages to you know any and everything after after you see the video. Let's click on next, and I'll just say save. Cool. So my lead page is saved and activated. Let's go back and let's open a lead record. Let's see how things look like now. So I am on a lead record and I see the path here and let's say I want to move to working contacted. So, so you see when I'm on working contacted, I see that the annual revenue field is here, the clean status field is here and I get a guidance like, you know, great. You just need to push a bit harder and you can win this deal, right? So I'm on the working contacted and I see the fields. Now let's say I want to convert it. So when I click on convert it and I say select it, select the status. So because it's a lead conversion right it is asking me to create account contact and opportunity i'll just go with the uh, default options that create all the three and i'll say convert so i say so it says that your lead has been converted and i'll say go to i'll just close this page i think the lead conversion then does not let me open the lead let's try to see jeff glimpse now i have the records as contact opportunity okay i'll not be able to see the lead here so i i will not be able to show you the confetti because as soon as the lead is converted account contact and opportunity records can be seen so let me do something let me show you confetti on a different status right let's try to do that so if i go to setup let's try to configure that so that i can show you that celebration because that looks very cool so if i just say edit here what I'll do is I'll click on next and here I want to show let's click on next that's fine here I want to have the confetti on working contacted cool so on working contacted I want to just show the uh, confetti let's try to say finish and now let's go back to a lead record let's open any existing lead and here I'll just move to okay this is yeah let's try to move it to working contacted
So you see, this confetti is coming up. So you see, that that's very, very funky, very fancy, and it looks good. So if I go to working contact and I say mark status is complete, it, it uh, sets the status to uh, working contact, and whenever that happens, the confetti comes up. So you get a good uh, good vibe of you know uh, what you have done, and you feel a bit uh, cheerful about it. Cool. So just just that small thing that uh, Salesforce has everywhere uh, to to you know bring bring value to the customers, right? So that's about path, and you can configure path settings like this, and uh, there could be some consideration path salesforce considerations you can take a look at that maybe that would help you understanding you know uh, if if there are specific objects that are not available for path what kind of restrictions do you have but yeah more or less this is what you have you enable it for an object you enable the path by uh, first of all then you add some fields uh, that you want to show enable the guidelines if you want to show something for success and you also enable celebrations based on the status you want to choose and you know you have some some level of uh, 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 guidelines that you can check for example if you create a path for leads we recommend making unqualified status the first step right so yeah, there are some some level of considerations for some specific scenarios there are ex exceptions everywhere you can take a look at that and you can uh, check it so you see if, if you notice this right here celebrations don't work on the lead status converted so what we did was we converted the lead and we wanted to see the confetti right that does not happen and that's a clear cut uh, confetti animation related uh, consideration salesforce has already provided that's why i had to you know switch the state to show it to you that the confetti animation is happening for another status cool so that was all about path and i hope you are you'll be able to configure path for any object that you get and this this basically kind of uh, helps you when your end user does not want to go to the specific field and wants to have a visual view of how the progress is being tracked and how the progress is going on and they want to use a, a visual indicator maybe in a sequence or maybe you know non-linear so you can go ahead and configure path for them uh, all right so that's a very very cool feature to have on your record pages all right so that's all about the path uh, settings in salesforce and uh, i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye